This video will guide you through the assembly process of the Ultimate E-Bike. For this assembly you'll need the following tools. Phillips screwdriver, a set of wrenches, box cutter, wire cutter, tire pressure gauge. The first step is to remove the bike out of the box. First use the wire cutter to cut the straps on the box. Using a box cutter, cut the box along the indicated lines. Remove the plastic covers and set the parts for assembly aside. Inside the box you should find the following. Front wheel, axle, wheel caps, MP3 mirrors with adapter, windshield, screws and mounts, charger, pedals, wiring harness extender, rain poncho, tire pressure gauge, cell phone holder, spare key ignition, flasher, tool kit, and a water bottle. After removing the bike from the box, your bike should look close to the following. To install the front wheel, first remove the washers and spacers on the axle. Then remove the plastic placeholder to reveal the slot on the brake pad where the front wheel will attach. Slide the axle through the left side of the fork and place a spacer on the opposite side. Slide the brake pad onto the brake disc. Align the front wheel and brake caliper to the axle. Place a spacer in between the brake disc and brake caliper. Push the axle through. On the other side, place another spacer between the fork and front wheel. Push the axle all the way through. Proceed by fastening the washers and nuts provided on both sides of the axle. Tighten both nuts with a wrench. Twist on the wheel caps on both sides. To straighten the fork, detach all 8 screws on the dashboard. Carefully remove the front headlight by detaching the wire as shown. Stand directly in front of the bike with the front wheel in between your legs. Carefully straighten the handlebars to the correct position. Lock this position by tightening the nut located on the head tube. With the headlight still detached, slide this wire on the left side through the slot where the MP3 mirror will attach. Insert one side of the extender through the same slot on the left side, and the other end through the slot on the right side. Reconnect the wires for the headlight and hoist it in place. Make sure you tuck all the wires in. Reattach all 8 screws on the dashboard. Twist the two mirror bolt adapters in place. Tighten both of them with a wrench. Before proceeding, the brackets for the windshield must be installed with the mounting surface aligned parallel to the dashboard. Align the plate with the mounting surface and secure it with the two screws provided. Slide the MP3 mirror through the slot and twist the mirror in place. On the right side, connect the wires and tuck them inside the slot. Do the same on the left side. When connecting the MP3 wires, make sure you plug in the matching end to the wiring harness and extension. Tuck the wires in the slot to hide them from sight. With the mounting brackets in place, secure the windshield with the plates and bolts provided. Attach the nuts provided and tighten them with a wrench. Do the same for the other side. Make sure you tighten the nut securing the mounting brackets with a wrench. Roll down the rubber cover to protect the wires and the bolt. Do the same for the other side. Using the key provided, open the seat compartment and lift the bike seat to reveal the battery. Plug in the cord to the battery port. Turn on the breaker switch. Open the carrying case to reveal the extension cord. Place the charger in the case and plug the female end to the wiring harness and the male end to the extension cord. 
To charge the battery, simply extend the cable and plug it into any 110 volt outlet. Pay attention to the indicator lights. Red means the battery is charging, green means it is fully charged. To start your e-bike, swipe the keycard near the sensor. You may notice the LED floor lights turn on. Test the motor by slightly turning the handlebars to activate the throttle. The switches for the headlight, tail light, front and rear turn signals are located near the handlebars. Check to make sure the headlight and turn signals on the front are working. Make sure to check if the rear turn signals are working properly in addition to the brake light. The last piece you'll need to install are the pedals. This bike does not have similar pedals. Check the markings in each pedal to determine which side they should go on. Attach the pedal by twisting it in place. Tighten it with a wrench. Do the same for the other side. Check to ensure that the chains properly spin when the pedals are rotated. Before you ride your bike, take 60 seconds to perform a quick check. Check the tread on the tires and use a tire pressure gauge to make sure your tires are at 40 psi. Check your brakes and brake lights by applying pressure on the brake levers. Check your headlight, tail light, and both front and rear turn signals. Look out for any loose nuts and bolts and tighten them. And lastly, check the battery charge by inspecting the battery indicator on the dashboard. Once you've finished performing the 60 second check, you're ready to go. Remember to always wear a helmet and observe the rules on the road. Be safe out there. If you experience any difficulties or have any questions, visit us at www.daymac.com.